Good evening from an expectant Stadio Olimpico. Lazio and Roma are just minutes away from locking horns for the first time this season in the Derby della Capitale. Derek Ray with you here on ESPN, joined for commentary by Stuart Robson. This fixture was in some jeopardy yesterday as anti-capitalism demonstrations turned violent. But the local police have given the Rome Derby the green light. Lazio are delighted that Miroslav Klose has been declared fit. The 33-year-old striker missed Germany's last two World Cup qualifiers with a knee injury. Just one switch on the side that recorded an excellent 2-1 win at Fiorentina last time out. It's at the back where Giuseppe Biava returns to take the place of Marius Stankovicius. Both Stefan Radu and Christian Ledesma were sent off in the most recent Rome derby back in March. Well, let's have a look at the Roma team. They are still without the injured Francesco Totti, but Simone Perotta is fit again. And he comes in. That's one of four changes to the team that beat Atalanta a fortnight ago. Goalkeeper Martin Stecklenburg has recovered after being knocked unconscious by Inter's Lucio last month. Bogdan Lobont is out of the equation for Roma. The other alterations see Simon Kerr come in for Nicolas Burdiso in central defence and it is one South American for another Fernando Gago referred to Fabio Simplicio Fabio Simplicio who was the hero of the cup derby a few months ago Roma and Lazio meeting in the Coppa Italia back then well it's a derby with a dynamic all of its own it is one of football's most captivating club rivalries the last six meetings of Lazio and Roma have produced 17 goals, 44 yellow cards and seven red ones. It is Stuart Robson, a fixture not for those of a nervous disposition. Absolutely not. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. Two teams that can almost go up to the top of the table, one point behind the leaders. What a game we've got on our hands. Roma haven't been playing scintillating football, but they've been effective in the last few weeks. Lazio likewise, I think we're going to be in for a really entertaining match. Bojan Kerkic getting his first taste of what the Rome derby is all about. Eddie Reya has been Roma's lucky charm, so they say, here in the capital. Eddie Reya, the Lazio manager, has lost all four derbies as boss of the Bianco Celesti. Just about ready to go. The referee is Paolo Tagliavento, the hairdresser from Turney. And that is the Brazilian in position. As you would expect, deafening noise inside the Stadio Olimpico. Roma kick off. Lazio must swim against the tide of recent derby history. The last five meetings of these two capital giants have all gone Roma's way. For the winning side, if there is one, there is the chance to move to just a single point behind Juventus and Udinese at the summit. Alejandro Rossi over there on the right-hand side for Roma. There's Jose Angel, the young Spanish left-back, joined during the summer from Sporting Gijon. Fernando Gago in the team tonight. Now Rossi oh, just got away with that. Giuseppe Piava into the clutches of Federico Marchetti. Good start from Roma, getting the ball out to that right hand side. Just getting the ball into the box, had three players in there. Piava didn't deal with it particularly well. But it looks though like Pjanic is going to play the role that Totti normally plays behind the main two strikers. Osvaldo and Kirkic. Good to see Martin Stecklenburg back. I don't remember that incident with Lucio of Inter a few weeks ago. He was knocked for six. Out of the team ever since, has recovered. Good night by that goal kick there. Once again, full backs for Roma are going to push really high up the field. 
already seen Rossi getting forward, and Girl will do the same on this left-hand side. And De Rossi will just drop that little bit deeper to play in between his centre halves. But Pjanic is the player as you see him trying to press the wizard. the furthest forward of the players at the moment for Roma. It's Biaba. It's closing in on 200 appearances in Serie A. Giuseppe Biaba, former Genoa man, and Stefan Radu, the Romanian. His fifth season with Lazio. It's cut out by the evergreen Simone Perotta. Pablo Osvaldo is not short of confidence. Born of the fact that he got the call up for the Italian national team. The most recent match against Northern Ireland. They haven't settled yet. There's Luis Enrique. In a certain style to Roma play. They have started to turn the corner, Roma. The points certainly weren't on the board the first few weeks of the season. They've won the last two matches in Serie A. Here's a good matchup. Cisse up against Heinze. Heinze, very experienced, but. Has he got the athleticism and the speed to cope with Cisse's runs? Gabriel Aitze. Back to Martin Stecklenburg. As things stand. The top of the table. It's a real chance for other side to make a big move it's very congested in the upper reaches of the Serie A table Rossi with the throw Hernanes of players who are making runs for Lazio, one of them was Alvaro Gonzalez, the Uruguayan. Just criticised Heitzer for his lack of athleticism, that was good play for him, saw the danger, but what a good run which you spotted as well, Gonzalez made a diagonal run to try and break Roma's offside line, and then they couldn't quite find him. Lazio trying to break out of the Derby doldrums. Will this be their night? And the lively Boyan Kirkic. Here is Jose Angel. Taking on Conco initially. And July Conco, 27 year old defender. And Frenchman. And look at this! The defenders all standing stock still. And Pablo Osvaldo there to profit. What a start for Roma in the first capital derby of the season. And what a finish from Osvaldo. Lazio trying to play a very high offside line. Ball just chipped in behind them. Osvaldo taking it down on his chest. He gets a yellow card for half taking his shirt off, I think. What a start. Lazio haven't settled. There's the ball. There's the little ball from Pjanic over the top. Certainly not offside, you can see. Lazio coming forward, Osvaldo brings it down and then with his left foot just passes it into the corner. Certainly not offside, poor defending from Lazio and clever play from Pjanic. I remember that incident with Lucio of Inter a few weeks ago. He was knocked for six. Out of the team ever since, has recovered. Know it by that goal kick there. Once again, full backs for Roma are going to push really high up the field. Already seen Rossi getting forward, and Girl will do the same on this left hand side. And De Rossi will just drop that little bit deeper to play in between his centre halves. But Pjanic is the player as you see him trying to press the wizard. The furthest forward of the players at the moment for Roma. It's Biaba. It's closing in on 200 appearances in Serie A. Giuseppe Biava, former Genoa man, 
And Stepan Radu, the Romanian. His fifth season with Lazio. It's cut out by the evergreen Simone Perotta. Pablo Osvaldo. He's not short of confidence. Born of the fact that he got the call up for the Italian national team. Most recent match against Northern Ireland. You haven't settled yet. There's Luis Enrique. In a certain style to Roma play. They have started to turn the corner, Roma. The points simply weren't on the board the first few weeks of the season. They've won the last two matches in Serie A. Here's a good matchup. Cisse up against Heinzer. Heinzer, very experienced, but has he got the athleticism and the speed to cope with Cisse's runs? Gabriel Eze. Back to Martin Stecklenburg. As things stand. The top of the table. chance for either side to make a big move it's very congested in the upper reaches of the Serie A table Rosie with the throw Hernanes The players were making runs for Lazio. One of them was Alvaro Gonzalez, the Uruguayan. Just criticised Heitzer for his lack of athleticism. That was good play for him. Saw the danger, but what a good round the main two strikers, Osvaldo and Kirkic. Good to see Martin Stecklenburg back. I remember that incident with Lucio of Inter a few weeks ago. He was knocked for six. Out of the team ever since, has recovered. I wouldn't know it by that goal kick there. Once again, full backs for Roma are going to push really high up the field. Already seen Rossi getting forward. Angel will do the same on this left hand side. And De Rossi will just drop that little bit deeper to play in between his centre halves. But Pjanic is the player as you see him trying to press the wizard. The furthest forward of the players at the moment for Roma. It's Biaba. It's closing in on 200 appearances in Serie A. Giuseppe Biaba. Former Genoa man. And Stefan Radu, the Romanian. His fifth season with Lazio. It's cut out by the evergreen Simone Perotta. Pablo Osvaldo. He's not short of confidence. Born of the fact that he got the call up for the Italian national team. The most recent match against Northern Ireland. You haven't settled yet. There's Luis Enrique. In a certain style to Roma play. They have started to turn the corner, Roma. The points. Certainly weren't on the board the first few weeks of the season. They've won the last two matches in Serie A. Here's a good matchup. Cisse up against Heinzer. Heinzer, very experienced, but has he got the athleticism and the speed to cope with Cisse's runs? Gabriel Eze. Back to Martin Stecklenburg. As things stand. Top of the table. It's a real chance for either side to make a big move. It's very congested in the upper reaches of the Serie A table.
Ramsey with the throw. Hernanes. A couple of players are making runs for Lazio, one of them.